Actually, you brought up, um, Pine before. So, did you hear about the, uh, the Pine note? Oh, yeah, I saw that. I'm like, plasma on an e-ink display. Yeah, it's... Really? I didn't look into... I just saw the, 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 um, the post. I didn't actually look at, like, the specs of it or anything. So, it's a 10.1-inch oh. e-ink tablet. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> I like how that edited the post and then just left in the mistake to just crossed it out. Um, so, 10.1 inch e-ink panel. E-ink is actually a really interesting technology. Like, yeah. I find, I don't know about you, I find reading on, like, a regular screen really, really difficult. <laughs> like, if I, um, for example, trying to read through, like, a PDF or something, uh, I always find myself getting... A lot of eye strain just doing so. I don't know about yourself, but that that's how I feel about it. I've got blue light filter coating on my glasses now, so... Right, that, that would definitely help out. Uh, a resolution of 1404 by 1872. Sure, okay. Uh, it's e-ink. It is e-ink, yes it is. Uh, both regular touch and EMR pen input. Okay. The, uh... Wait, I wonder if anything's soldered inside of this. I can't tell from the pictures here. It looks like a lot of stuff is a, is going to be attached with, um... With removable cables, though. That is nice. That, uh... Hopefully will make it easier to repair if you can get parts for it. Presumably you'll be able to. They do sell the parts for the Pine phone that you can pick up mm -hmm. pretty easily, except for, like, the main board. Right, right. So. That, why did they sell the main board? What, that, okay, sure, I would have thought that would be one thing you would sell. Um, well, they do sell the main board separately. They have all the other parts as well ah, that you can get separately. Right, right. They've right, got okay. a discount for, like, an upgrade for people with, like, older boards mm -hmm. to get a new main board. Right, okay, okay, that makes sense. Has a quad core RK thirty five sixty six A five five SSC. I don't know what the hell that is, so I'm gonna just, I you know what? It's, it's probably fine. Um, it's a thing. It is a thing that has four cores, four gigs of LD uh, LP DDR four RAM. Sure, one hundred and twenty eight gigs of so. <laughs> Remember when one hundred and twenty eight gigs was just like an unheard amount of flash storage? Now it just comes on just some like yeah. random e ink tablet. I think my first. And oh, what's up? Considering this is like probably primarily for e reader, e reading and mm. stuff like that, it's a lot of space. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Uh, <laughs> geez. yeah, that's actually a a ton then. Uh. Sure, you can you can take as many of um, your Amazon ebooks that you have definitely not the, not ripped the DRM off of, uh, and just put them on this tablet. I'm so, uh, so I've got a whole bunch of ebooks. Mm. You see my books folder. It's mostly like EPUB PDFs mm -hmm. and stuff. That's like sixteen gigs. That includes all of my rpg books that mm -hmm. i've like picked up over the last few years from like warhammer and everything mm -hmm. along with pdfs that i've downloaded from various honest good places absolutely yes we only condone legal acquisition of books on this podcast that's 16 gigs mm. just so 128 for all that is, like, plenty of space. Well, they're saying it's not just, like, a an e-reader, but considering that has an e-ink display, I don't know what anyone would ever really use it for besides an e-reader. You're not watching YouTube on that. Well, you could. That's the thing. But I don't know why you would want to. Was the refresh rate on the screen again? Uh, they say it's not sixty, uh, not sixty hertz. I don't know what the refresh rate would be. Because uh, I know most e ink displays have to like, in essence, clear the screen and then print it back mm -mm. out. So. I don't know. Like, I, can you even get a sixty hertz e ink um, 
I don't know. I, I eating's one of those things that just show up every so often. I love the fact that your camera's freezing every like every few seconds. <laughs> There's just like hilarious faces stuck there. Um, eating display. Uh, refresh rate. Let's see. Uh, apparently you can find them at 67 hertz. Why 67? I don't know. But you can get them that high. So Ink has improved a lot since I was like first looking at it. Okay. I know Best Buy uses e-ink displays for their price tags in a lot of places too. Okay, that's that's as fancy. Yeah. Then Amazon has their Oasis um, e-reader mm -hmm. that's an e-ink display that's like full color as well. Yeah, that's really cool. Um. I just don't want to... I don't want to buy, like, a Amazon e-reader, though. Oh. That, I mean, that... if you buy an older Kindle, maybe, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh, $290, so 400 Australian. You know what? Okay, that's not a bad price, to be honest. 